I've been part of a team that's gone on to win three in a row is just it's crazy really and you kind of forget about it sometimes like all the guys that I played with growing up through the years like we're all still friends and everything so it really is like a, it's a good family sense and a good community sense we had won in all Ireland in 97 99 2000 it's more local at your club you know everything you know the set up it's different than joining a county panel it was nearly like a kind of statement to say we're here we're ready to play no one's going to push us over this year This podcast is sponsored by Declan Kirby, GA Star. Declan Kirby, GA Star is a children's GA book written by primary school teacher and GA coach Michael Egan. Follow the trials and tribulations of Declan Kirby and his team at Smith Green Gaelic Football Club. The book is a very good read for any parents who are looking to get their children involved in Gaelic games. The book is available in Eason's Little and All Good Bookshops. It's also available to download on Amazon, so make sure to go and check it out. They're very good supporters of the channel and the page, so you certainly be doing me a good favor as well if you went ahead and checked the book out so i do very much appreciate it the link is in the description down below and let's get straight into it Yes, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to GA Fan TV. My name is Aaron. I hope you're keeping wonderfully well. This is all the results and all the reaction to the weekend's club games in both football and hurling. And we will be bringing back these shows now more regularly. Now with the fact that, uh, yeah, I mean club championships are just really beginning to spice up now. With the fact we're at the latter stages of a number of county finals. The provincial championships are starting next weekend. Some of the provincial championships anyways. And at the weekend, I mean, we had some cracking games in both football and hurling. Ireland, and in particular in football because we've seen some clubs end long long droughts and famines for county titles you're thinking of clan Aaron in the armagh senior football championship winning their first county title in 58 years you're thinking of craig and kickham's winning their first county title in Antrim for the first time in 67 years. I mean, from Offaly to Westmead to Wexford and, you know, all the way even to Cavan, we had a whole host of action from club games uh, in various different county championships. And it's going to be very interesting now to keep an eye on the uh, Ulster, the Munster, Connacht and Leinster club football and club hurling championships as well because without doubt the club scene is looking very very exciting so yeah let me know down in the comments below what games you want me to cover this weekend in various different club football and hurling championships i will be looking at the mayo senior football championship final between bell Mullet and Knockmore, as well as a whole host of other club football and hurling championship finals and some of the provincial championships which will be happening uh, at the weekend as well i believe some games in ulster we have the preliminary round and same in leinster as well so We'll be kicking things off with uh, some previews for those games as well, so stay tuned for them. But yeah, I mean, what a weekend we had in, in both club football and in hurling as well. I mean, we had drama, we had shocks, we had surprises, we had some end-to-end -end brilliant games, absolutely no doubt about it. And of course, I won't be looking too much in detail to the games I already covered. Now, I did al already leave a couple of match reactions out on the channel already. We had a look at the Tyrone Senior Football Championship Final where Dramore won their first county title in 10 years. I also recorded a video on Mount Belly and My Locks first uh, county title. They, of course, beat Corofin and won their first county title for 35 years, as well as reaction to both the tip final and the Dublin Hurling final as well. So we're not going to discuss them to them games in, in very much detail. If you want to go and have a look at those reactions already, they'll already be out. And yeah, just click into the channel and you'll see those uh, videos already uploaded. So we'll have a look at the Armagh Senior Football Championship final. First of all, it was Clan Aaron 212, Cross McGlen 16 points. Clan Aaron winning their first Armagh Senior Football Championship in 58 years. Now, I did record a preview for this game during the week with Sean Casey of the Sideline Eye, if you haven't seen that already. And we did discuss this game in greater detail and discuss, I suppose, the story around Clan Aaron and the fairy tale story in many ways for them in the Armagh Senior Football Championship. And it's a fairy tale complete in terms of they have won the county title. They have done, I suppose, maybe not necessarily the impossible because from what I read, they certainly had a number of 
underage players coming through and they had a lot of underage success and looking at some of the players that are on their team for example Connor Turba, Tiernan Kelly in there as well they have a, a whole host of very talented footballers no doubt about it but to go and beat that Cross McGlen team you know a team that consists of the likes of Rian O'Neill, Oshin O'Neill, Kima Conville it's a huge huge win and a huge result in their first county title for 58 years a huge achievement for them obviously they had beaten Mahari en route to the final of course as well they bet Bell McNabb as well so Connor Turby he scored eight points 145 one mark and one free you also had Ryan Henderson with a point Adam Kelly scored two points but it really was the bench that made the big difference for Clan Aaron in this game so Rory McDonald he scored a goal Jack Conlon came off the bench and scored 1-1 and we'll actually show Jack Conlon's goal in just a moment because it was quite a bizarre goal really one of those uh, goals that you rarely see in, uh, in club football games or you, you're, you do tend to see every now and again and they certainly do blow your mind when you see them um, and yeah I will throw some images on screen as well and, and I suppose some reactions some tweets in terms of the game as well because it was uh, I suppose a huge huge win for Clan Aaron and like reading from reading some match reports and whatnot it, do, it does seem that it was the fourth quarter that really made the big difference for Clan Aaron they actually outscored Cross McGlen 2-6 to 4 points and I suppose that was the big turning point because Cross McGlen had looked very comfortable actually up until that point and I suppose like with Cross McGlen and the history that they have and the players that they have you would have probably looked at them and thought they can go and, and see this game out but I suppose for Cross McGlen like one thing I spoke with with Sean Casey from from the sideline I we spoke during the week about Cross McGlen's vulnerability in their full back line and the fact that they do concede goals and they conceded four goals against Mahri last season in the final and they've conceded two goals now in the final and it was once again the goals that proved to be the difference for Clan Aaron. Quiven Riley says unreal scenes in Armagh, Clan Aaron win their first championship since 1963. Incredible finish as they come from six down. Tiernan Kelly, Shea Heffron, Ryan Henderson, Connor Turba and Jack Conlon outstanding in the second half and yeah we'll just uh, throw that video on screen right now so some of you lads can sample the atmosphere when Clan Aaron won their first county title since 1963. Be brave, be brave. That's that's some final brother. That was some final brother. And we were speaking of that Jack Conlon goal, and we'll have a look at it on screen now. Our man GA posted it on their Twitter. I mean, just a long ball floated in there. It bounces over everyone, including the goalkeeper, hits the post, and then rolls into the left-hand corner of the goal. A bizarre goal in many ways from uh, the substitute Jack Conlon. And when you look at it, that proved to be the difference because, uh, of course, Clan Aaron winning the game by two points in the end. So you could look at that goal as the match winner it was the second goal in the game for clan Aaron as well it was the goal that actually put them in front in the game as well you know quite incredible you see this sometimes in some club games where you see some mad goals some mad moments some crazy moments and this was certainly one of them and a goal that in the end proved to be the difference for clan Aaron. and of course next up for clan Aaron will be craig and kickums in the ulster senior club football championship the opening round of course that will take place on the weekend of the 4th to the 5th of december and I suppose speaking of Craig and Kickhams, obviously they won the Antrim Senior Football Championship yesterday as well. Their first Antrim Senior Football Championship uh, for 67 years. They beat St. Mary's by a scoreline of 112 to 7 points. And as I said before, their first Antrim title in 67 years. St. Mary's, they were bidden to win their first ever Antrim Senior Football Championship. So this game probably wasn't that much as a shock. From what I believe, Kickham certainly came in as the favourites. And it was a game that was never really in doubt. They led by a scoreline of seven points to two at half time. Just looking at some scorers on the day from a Craigan point of view. So Kevin Small with two points, Jamie McCann with two points. Both of them were frees. Matthew Rogers with three points as well. Rory McCann with three points. Tiernan McAteer with a point as well. And he also had none other than Sam McGuire getting a goal coming off the bench. Uh, as well so that really proving to be the big difference there for St Mary's Luke Mulholland with uh, a point that was from a 45 Garrett McGee with five points Adam Lochran with a point as well but of course the day does in fact belong to 
Craig and Kickums, and they will take on Clan Aaron and what should make for a very interesting game. Both sides going in in similar circumstances, both having ended long droughts or long famines in their respective county championships, and they will now meet each other in about two or three weeks' time in the Ulster Senior Club Football Championship. Very excited for that game, and that should be a very interesting one once it comes around. Staying on the topic of uh, county championships in Ulster, you had the Cavan Senior Football Championship, and it was Ramore United, 115, Gauna, 14 points. It was just their second Cavan Senior Football Championship since 1992. Jason Brady, he scored 1-8 on the day, and that proved to be the big difference in the end for Ramore United. Of course, uh, a famous game in many ways made by the fact that Maggie Farrelly became the first woman's referee to referee in a county senior final. Uh, I suppose a huge moment for the GA, no doubt about it. And uh, I suppose for Maggie Farrelly, she done a great job from what I read in the game. And look, listen, hopefully she can manage some county games as well. That would be absolutely great to see. And I suppose from a Ramore United point of view, a huge win for them. Just their second county senior football championship, like I said before. And I would recommend anyone who is interested to, I suppose, hear a bit more about this final and uh, I suppose a bit more about the Cavan Senior Football Championship in general. I would recommend those of you lads to go and check out the JMAC podcast. John McMahon, of course, who I've had on the podcast a couple of times before and uh, he's dropped a number of previews and match reviews and whatnot for uh, some of the games in the Cavan Senior Football Championship. So I would recommend some of you lads to go and check that out if you are interested to see a little bit more in detail what happened in this game. But uh, it was Ramore United who won this game, won 15 to 14 points and a huge win for Ramore United. Next up for Ramore United as well will actually be Kilku in the Ulster Senior Club Football Championship. Kilku are probably the favourites in Ulster right now and probably actually in most people's eyes favourites for the All-Ireland with the fact that Corofin are no longer in there. I mean, I'd still look at Mount Bellew my lock as, as a team that can go all the way in the All-Ireland scene in my opinion. I think they could uh, win the All-Ireland. I think they're definitely contenders, no doubt about it. But Kilku are definitely a team to watch out for having obviously uh, made the All-Ireland final of course, back in uh, 2020. Um, so a huge game, no doubt about it. And I suppose just looking at how the uh, Ulster Club Senior Football Championship is actually beginning to shape up. So you'll see there in the preliminary round, which is actually taking place next weekend, you've got St. Eunans of Donegal and you've got Wally Graham's GAC Glen of Derry. And that should be a very intriguing game. I have seen one or two people potentially tipping Glen as all Ireland contenders. Of course, Connor Glass is one of the most notable players in that team and certainly we'll be looking at that game in further detail at the weekend when we preview a number of games no doubt about it but just having a look there as well you've got the quarter final so you've obviously got Tremor in there who won the Tyrone Senior Football Championship at the weekend they'll be playing the Fermanagh Champions and as I said before you've got uh, Craig and Kickums going up against Clan Aaron of course in the first weekend in December Ramore United they're playing Kilku and Scottstown of Monaghan they'll play the winner of St Unions and Waddy Graham so it's certainly shaping up to be a very very interesting Ulster Club Senior Football Championship Kilku would certainly be the favourite in most people's eyes but there's a lot of teams going in there with a lot of potential Scottstown are a very good side as well very underrated team in my opinion if they, if they could get through Ulster they could be serious all Ireland contenders no doubt about it and obviously the winner of St Unions Unions and Waddy Grahams will certainly have a say, no doubt about it. So it's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on the Ulster Club Senior Football Championship now in the next couple of weeks. And we move across to some of the county finals in the Leinster Club Senior Football Championship and Tullamore, they beat Road by a scoreline of 9 points to 1-4. Of course this game was in fact a replay. They obviously drew last weekend when Road got themselves a late goal to force that game to a replay. And they did get a late goal in this game as well. A late penalty from Sullivan, but uh, in the end, it proved to be nothing in the end for uh, for Rowe to shout about in this game. Tullamore won the game quite comfortably with Johnny Maloney hitting two points. Cormac Egan on the score sheet as well. Uh, and of course, John Furlong also getting a point. So for Tullamore, definitely a lot of young players coming through at the moment and a huge win for them, no doubt. And I suppose looking at the Leinster Club Senior Football Championship, I and mean, we will have a look at how the Leinster Club Senior Football Championship is beginning to shape up. But there is a bit of a chance for Tullamore to maybe go on a bit of a run. They've got a couple of young players in there, a couple of players who are part of that awfully under-20 team. They might be dark horses for the All-Ireland, and that might sound a bit crazy, but we've seen Dublin sides get caught in the Leinster Club Senior Football Championship before, so it's not exactly impossible that Tullamore go on a bit of a run. They do have some young players, so it might be a bit early for them, but they're 
certainly a team that's improving, that's looking very good at the moment, that has young lads coming through. And this was obviously a huge win for them, beating Road in the final. A changing in the guard, of course, you could say, in the Offaly Senior Football Championship because it was in fact Tullamore's first Offaly Senior Football Championship in eight years. And of course next to Offaly we have Westmead and they also had their county final at the weekend and it finished in a draw between St. Lomans and Gary Castle, the two most dominant sides in Westmead Senior Football down the years and this game once again like many of the other games as well. I suppose from a St. Lomans point of view they scored an injury time point from John Heslin to force the game to go to a replay and I suppose for Gary Castle I mean they're a side that's most notably known for winning a, a whole host of Westmead Senior Football Championships down the years and of course having the Dolans in there like Desi Dolan and whatnot but of course some of those players have retired so there has been an opportunity for some other sides in Westmead to I suppose close the gap on Gary Castle in recent years and one of them has been St. Lomans and John Heslin scored a stoppage time point to send this game to a replay. He hit seven points in total. TJ Cox also hit three points. Ronan O'Toole also got on the score sheet as well. Another, I suppose, notable county star for Westmead. For Gary Castle, Gardner with four points in there. Monaghan with three points. And uh, James Dolan also getting a point on the day as well for Gary Castle. Of course, one of the most notable players there to get on the score sheet from a Gary Castle point of view. And that game will go to a replay that will be played next weekend. And the winner of that will play the Leash Senior Football Champions Port Arlington uh, at the beginning of December. So certainly a game worth keeping an eye on, no doubt about it. And last but not least, in terms of the uh, county finals that took place at the weekend that we haven't already discussed on the channel. Shell Maliers, they beat Gusseran O'Reilly's, or O'Reilly's I should say, 2-11 to 1-10. And they win just their second ever Wexford Senior Football Championship. So a huge moment for them and a huge moment, no doubt about it for uh, Shell Maliers winning this game 2-11 to 1-10 in the end and just running through some of the scores Glenn Malone with 5 points you had Connor Hearn with a point Aaron Murphy with 1-1 one, one. Podrick O'Leary with a point Owen Nolan also with a point but Jody Donahue he proved to be the massive difference he scored 1-2 coming off the bench and that proved to be a big difference no doubt about it for Shell Maliers for Gus Oran Adrian Flynn with 2 points for example Mark Rossiter getting 1-4 uh, on the day, 2 from Freeze, 1 mark as well, and of course uh, some scores also from Porrick Conway, the captain. So that's how that game finished, a huge win, no doubt about it. And Shell Maliers, just like some of the other clubs we've mentioned, obviously progress on through into the Leinster Club Senior Football Championship, and they will actually play the winner of Nave Martins and Rathvilly. Nave Martins of Loud, Rathvilly of Carlo. Rathvilly also won a county senior football championship at the weekend as well and it was their first county championship in seven years so a huge moment for them no doubt about it but it'll be Shell Maliers who will play the winner of those two and Nave Martins are also another side going under the radar a little bit over and loud they've got some very talented players in the likes of Samuel Roy they've got the experience of JP Rooney and Jim McGuinness was involved in that club last year I've no idea if he's involved in the club this year maybe he's uh, pulling a few strings behind the scenes who knows but they're another team that could potentially you know cause one or two shocks in the Leinster Club Senior Football Championship and uh, certainly a team worth keeping an eye on but Shell Maliers will play the winner of Nave Martin and Raffili in a couple of weeks time now there was also plenty of drama in the Cork Senior Football Championship with two semi-finals uh, taking place at the weekend and Clonakilty first of all they dispatched Douglas by a scoreline of 15 points to 1-11. I've seen the highlights on the Irish Examiner's YouTube channel so for those of you who haven't seen it go and have a look and you'll see I suppose some of the highlights for yourself but yeah, I suppose, look, listen, from what I've seen, certainly Clonakilty looked very comfortable in the game. And uh, the likes of Dara O'Shea and uh, Ross Mannix looked very impressive, no doubt about it. Dara O'Shea looks like a very good footballer. And I suppose for Douglas, they obviously got themselves a late penalty, a late score as well. They made the game a lot closer than maybe what it looked. But in the end, it was Clonakilty who comfortably put themselves into the final. The other game, I haven't seen the highlights yet. I, I, I would presume the highlights are out on the Irish Examiner's YouTube channel by the time this video comes out. But from what I believe, it was meant to be an absolute cracker of a game. It was St. Finbar's 316, Castlehaven 316. It went all the way to penalties. And St. Finbar's won the game 5-4 on penalties to progress into the county final in two weeks' time. So, I mean, a very intriguing game that will be between Clonakilty and St. Finbar's. And there will actually be an extended preview coming out during the week with Matthew Hurley 
from the GEA Statsman podcast. We'll be having a look at the hurling final and also the football final. So stay tuned for both of those uh, previews coming out in the next couple of weeks but a cracking game no doubt about it and i suppose when any game goes to penalties in gaelic games it's always worth a, a bit of entertainment so what a cracking game that sounded by the looks of it as saint finbar has booked themselves into the final alongside clonic hilty but anyway lads we'll go ahead and wrap this up here if you could leave a like and subscribe i would kindly appreciate it for those of you who are subscribed already i do very much appreciate it and if you could share this out to as many people as possible to help the channel grow i would uh, appreciate that also there will be some previews out during the week for various different county finals and there will also be an extended preview show out on thursday as well so stay tuned for all the videos all the reaction coming soon my name is aaron and i'll see you all in the next one Four,